in the last lesson, I showed you how to make a clipping mask and, and then add some effects if you want to do that. I'm going to undo that clipping mask here, and I'm going to show you how to do a um, one other thing. So the, let's see, how do I get rid of clipping mask? Uh, release clipping mask. There we go. So I just right clicked on the on the on the um, on the image layer and I told it to release the clipping mask. Now I'm going to bring that text layer up top again. And notice how it says delicate rock because I ended up with it saying delicate rock at the end of there. Um, I want to make it so that this just has an outline and, and I can see through the text. But you notice if I go to fill right here, it just kind of makes the so I can see through the text. Um, and that's all right. I mean, I can do things like do that bevel and emboss and it uh, it makes it pop out like that, which is which is a nice effect to do. But I, I don't want to have that. Um, I don't, I don't want to do that right now. So I'm going to uh, make that fill. The fill is the fill color for for these uh, for this text right here. I'm going to make that fill 100%. That's the opacity is 100%. Um, but notice I I can make the whole. You know, <laughs> What if I want to have the outline be clear and then have the fill be, um, uh, you know, transparent? So what I do is I need to create, add a stroke to the text. So I'm going to come down here and go to effects, and I'm going to add a stroke to it. I'm going to make the stroke a different color just so you can see that it's a stroke. Oh, why don't I add a color from the actual arch? So notice how when I have the color selector out, I can just click anywhere on the um, on the image to choose a color. And it puts that color in. It's a nice way to keep colors consistent in a in an image. Now that I have that uh, that stroke on the font or on, on that on that text, now if I go to fill, I can eliminate that, and I end up with just the that text. Let, let me go back to stroke. And I'm going to make it black again, and then we can see what's going on. What what if I want that fill to be just kind of partial see through? And then we're starting to get some interesting effects. Again, sometimes it's fun to use the bevel and emboss and make that look nice. I can go back into the fill at any time and darken it or do whatever I want. This is a really nice way to work with text. Uh, I kind of don't like how far that is, that those two are away. So I'm going to go into character and I'm going to change the letting just a little bit. So I'm going to go down. Now, I have been on some forums trying to figure out what goes on here, and there is a bug in this version of um, Photoshop. Then when you try to do this thing, try to change the letting after you do add effects to it or something like that, it ends up just messing up and having this really, um, this, it ends up adding an insane amount of letting in. So if you're using Adobe CC, I don't know if, if they fixed this, um, doesn't look like they fixed this uh, this bug yet. There we go. So I'm just undoing that. I went I went Alt Control Alt Z to undo till I got that delicate rock back, and I'm not going to change that. So uh, I was aware of this problem, but I just wanted to um, I wanted to do it so you could see that this causes a problem if you change the letting uh, when you have when you've added effects and when you're on a, another layer. So it kind of messes it up. But anyways, I wanted to see how to do that. It's a nice thing to be able to do, and that's the end of that.